Good morning, my soccer universe, for another Women's World Cup update. And then there are only four left. Well, uh, we have reached the semi-final stage and we had finally a surprise. But um, let's go chronologically. Uh, the first um, quarterfinal yesterday was between Italy and the Netherlands. The one that I was looking forward to is, of course, the one that I didn't see anything live because uh, we had a big family party. So, yeah, uh, how to say? It's a little bit bittersweet, uh, the whole thing, because if I would have chosen one <laughs> game, it was that one. But on the other side, it was probably not the most exciting game. It was played in the heat. And it was a very slow game at the beginning, with the Dutch having always a little bit the advantage. We saw already against China that Italy is not all that fit anymore. And I think that showed that they were uh, a little bit stretching their physical uh, reserves. I think they had a half chance through uh, Sabatini. Uh, the Dutch had more. And the Dutch actually had also the first huge one. Um, but it came in the second half, I think in the 58th minute, when Van der Donk hit the bar at that point it should have been uh one nil took a little bit but then i crossed by uh spitze uh from the left and Miedema. so uh and then i cross free kick from the left um from spitze finds Miedema's head who lets it in it's one nil for the netherlands um fully deserved at that point and 10 minutes later, um, it was again from Spitze, cross from the right that hits the head of Van der Gracht. And it's 2 mil for the Netherlands. And they move on to the next round, where they were waiting for the winner of Sweden against Germany. Uh, that was a game where all the signs pointed to one thing, Germany advancing. Uh, historically has always been that way. Although Sweden is a force in uh, women's soccer, they barely ever could make it past Germany. That was actually also very interesting uh, jersey-wise because like at the last World Cup, Sweden was playing in dark blue, which I actually liked. So it was a nice matchup, the only Adidas matchup uh, in the qualifiers. Everywhere else there were Nike matchups except for Italy versus the Netherlands. The game started out as you would expect, Magul and uh, that I didn't see, but then I, I was watching the uh, game. Magul in the 16th gets the goal, uh, was actually nicely taken, I think she, she stops it, pops up high and she uh, somewhat scissor kicks it into the net, 1-0 Germany. And at that point, you know, it was very close also to uh, Cameroon Ghana, I thought, ah, it's going already the way that uh, we all know it will go. But I stayed on a little bit, and then there was a long ball that comes to Jakobson, who suddenly has um, not a clear run on goal, but she uh, there's only one defender that she could beat, takes a shot, and it goes into the net in the 22nd, and it is 1-1. And I have to say, that shocked Germany, and I had from that moment on the feeling that actually it was Sweden. Not having the control of the game, but being slightly more dangerous. Um, but it was not to be. I mean, it ended 1-1 at the half, but it was right after halftime when, again, uh, a shot came on, uh, from Rolfe, came on to goal. Uh, goalkeeper can save it, but it falls right to the feet of Stina by Blackstenius, who uh, slots it in and makes it 2-1 Sweden. And then, yes, Germany had to come. And uh, you also have to know that at this point, it's not only the semifinals are at stake, but also... Uh, spot at the Olympics. So um, it's double bad for Germany, although I was wondering, the Olympic champions, why don't they get uh, automatic spot? But that's a whole different discussion. Anyway, um, Germany needs to come, but honestly, for the longest of times, there was not much coming from Germany. It was actually, again, um, uh, counterattacks from Sweden, where they could have, or could have, maybe should have made it um, 3-1 and put the game away, but they couldn't do that either. Uh, and so in the end, it is uh, Germany who uh, becomes uh, gets a few chances. I mean, there was one by Debritz that went wide, and then I think at the very end, um, it uh, who was it? Uh, 
Oberdorf, I think, uh, came very, very close to making the equalizer, but Sweden hangs on and sensationally gets the win over Germany, the first surprise of the tournament. Maybe not, uh, as I said, Sweden is a force in women's soccer, but overall, them beating Germany, that's unheard of. And so this sets up uh, as the following semifinals we have on um, the 2nd of July, which is Tuesday, England against the United States, and the 3rd of July, we have the Netherlands against Sweden, which is the surprise matchups. And it's great to, that we will see one of these that ahead of the tournament, no one really would have fancied in the final. Uh, I think the US are favored over England. I Dutch, Netherlands, it's a tight one. I want to give the Dutch the edge, but uh, Sweden has been has been eliminating Germany, so maybe it will be a USA-Sweden matchup, and now the Swedes will play for. Let me know what you thought about these games, whether you watched them, uh, whether especially filming on Italy against the Netherlands. Drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.